uh, ma'am uh, good afternoon uh, everyone i am vinit patel i am presenting to today's project topic is defect detection using machine learning uh, this project is uh, guided by the professor professor shrishil patel sir and the, my group members are shantanu ganar onkar onsegar and chinmay kam uh, the content of that is problem statement introduction literature survey algorithm and system architecture system architecture results and conclusions uh the problem statement of the project is that to design and develop a an deep learning algorithm or a technology that can decide whether the video was changed with defect technology or not with a good or not with a good accuracy uh in this that the the video is generated by an ai which has been wrapped and another person plays with another one which can leads to damage the personal or public figure identity and it can be used for an abusive works to, for that we have to use to uh, we develop and detection algorithm uh, what is mean by defect a uh, defect is a technique for human image synthesis based on an artificial intelligence uh, the defect are created by combining and superimposing an existing image and videos onto the source image or a video using a deep learning technique known as gan model or is a generative adversarial network uh we have a literature survey on which we have to decide how the model will, will be developed the first paper is on deep learning for defect creation and detection in this survey they provided total overall view of an defect video creations and detection methods on the second paper the review of de uh, defect detection techniques in 2021 uh, uh, in this paper they have briefly review of some paper which describe the different method for detecting defect met uh, defect videos and images to detect it uh, on the third paper the capsule forensic uh, using an capsule network to detect forged images and videos in 2018 uh, it is a comprehensive experiment and demonstration of an detection of manipulated images and video on the fourth paper to catch uh, the pick catcher detection of synthesis portrait videos using biological signals in this paper they have you uh, to check portrait video using an biological sig uh, signals it is an fake or a original video uh, we use most uh, three uh, algorithms or techniques uh, the first one was an convolutional neural network second one was an uh, recurrent neural network or third one was long short term memory Uh, the convolutional neural network we have used uh, for feature extraction in our project to extract feature from the images or a game or, or object from an image to extract it uh, we use recurrent neural network for the sequential handling of the uh, data from the cnn uh, it is generally used for the uh, carry out the feature vector from the cnn uh, lstm uh lstm is used for to carry out the feature vector throughout the long process using sequential methods uh system architecture of our project uh in that we have to upload an video uh basically we have already trained a uh, pre trained data set uh, which has uh, which is already leveled by our uh, group mate uh, and collected from the different sources like uh, celeb face uh, face forensic and different many moves Uh, we have proceeded it and uh, uploaded it to our project for after training it after that uh, the video get uploaded to our project after that the project uh, process that video in pre processing phase it detect the face in that video and it cropped and make it align to it properly after that the rsnes cnn model has to extract fe feature from it and after after that it passed to the rnn for the video classification after that the it uh, predicts the video is real or not the requirements of for that software is a uh, python language framework i use pytorch and django ide i use colabs jupyter notebook and visual studio code uh, the results are the output of subsequent model will show the further Uh, whether the video is deep fake or authentic and uh, will also provide the model level of confidence 
the figure display in one of our instance. Uh, see that you see uh, in this image, the confidence of prediction has also is defined and the label of the fake also. The one of our demo is that uh, I am currently uploaded some video on my project. Uh, I have uploaded a video in that the video is uh, 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 generated by a GAN model, which is already a fake video. I upload on that web application. This uh, the result should be like this in our application platform. Uh, this is the web application where we have uploaded the video, which is generated by the GAN model, which is actually a fake video. And this was the output of our project, which is fake and with the accuracy of 85%. And the one and other video is also uploaded, which is original video. Uh, this is the actual output, output of the real video. Uh, after that, uh, the number of uh, videos are trained according to the models. The number of videos are 6,000 on the number of frame 10 and the accuracy was 84. In the real world, we have generally checked uh, that the deep fake video detection rate is uh, uh, average is above 60 but we uh, during that model we have trained that the we got the accuracy of about 84 uh, percent we have tried it with different number of frames that's why according to 20 frames 40 frames 60 frames 80 frames and 100 frames according to that we get different different accuracy levels uh, conclusion conclusion of that project is we present uh, present a neural network based approach to classify the video as a deep fake or real along with the confidence of proposed model our method does the same uh, uh, our our method does the frame level detection using resnex cn model and the video classification using uh, lstm and recurrent neural network the proposed method is capable of detecting the video as a defect or pristine based on the listed parameter in our paper. We believe that it will provide a very high accuracy on real-time data. A reference are taken from the below slides. Uh, these are the references we should uh, prepare before the building the projects. Thank you.